go home now. Welcome back to Can I Go Home Now, a skateboard turned podcast. <laughs> a skateboard brand. Alan, not even near the mic. For, <laughs> for, for, for a long time, we were a skateboarding company started by Steve-O, um, but ever since then, we've become some kind of podcast. We only have three mics that are on mm, and four anymore. people. Now we have four Hello. people. Hello. <laughs> Today we have Aloe on our podcast. <laughs> That's John's girlfriend. Please do, don't say her last name. It's I could see you considering it. You try? I don't think. No, you go ahead. You got it. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. Come on, Lucas. Just try it. You know what? I'm actually all set. <laughs> you know what? I thought about it. I've said it so many times in the past. It feels unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. To you can go through more. the history of my career and find plenty of clips where I say <laughs> Alice's full name, but not today because it feels unnecessary. I love those who understand Spanish. I love those who understand English. Um, and I love those who understand both. Welcome, Alice, to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> or might we say, Bienvenido. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to. Um, you're gonna have to sorry. put the mic much closer to your mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you 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 should tell them about yourself. Okay. Yeah. Um, where should I start? Um, ethnicity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we consider the most important yes. as liberals, I, ethnicity. Uh, yes. <laughs> I was born in Fajaldo, Puerto Rico. Mm. <laughs> well, this podcast is off to an amazing start. <laughs> um, I was born in Fajaldo, um, and I live in Jersey. That's Fajaldo for all our people at home. <laughs> Fajardo, if you will. Um, That's something Lucas isn't saying for the people watching right now. <laughs> this is not Lucas talking. If you're Wait, listening. I think it's more liberal to over-pronunciate. Yes. So you were born in Fajalo. <laughs> and then the that's guitar that's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck, we need that sound effect. No, it's just Daddy Yankee. That's <laughs> Daddy Yankee. <laughs> yeah, he's Puerto Rican. He's very Puerto Rican. He's yeah. like the most Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. Well, how do you, how do you get Puerto more Puerto Rican, Rican than someone from Puerto Rico? <laughs> Riding <laughs> on the wall. Uh, <laughs> you are hey, Daddy, Daddy Yankee. Yankee. <laughs> the only Yankee possible way. So you're from Fajardo. <laughs> 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 a fun fact is Puerto Ricans, there's like an ongoing joke that we don't say our R's. It's like a running bit within the Spanish community. So we don't say, so like, carro. I can't even say. We do a lot of L's and like. Mm -hmm. So how would El you? Cajo. Cajo? El cajo. And that means oh. cat. That means car. That, oh, that's hard to Gajo understand. Or Gajo. So if you were in Nepal Gajo. and you met someone named Rajesh, how would you say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. so I'm Rajesh and you're someone who can't roll their R's. Hi, I'm Rajesh. Rajesh? Rajesh? Oh. Rajesh. You didn't even uh, roll Rajesh. your R's with that name. Well, no, I'm Rajesh. <laughs> oh. But you're not rolling the R, though. Yeah, Why but I'm, that's because I'm Rajesh and I'm from Nepal. People in Nepal don't <laughs> roll their R's. What point are you trying to make, John? Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to get more uh, content for online. <laughs> <laughs> let's um okay, let's get move. back to Aloe's story, okay. uh, which is really um, profound. That's going to be a, uh, an <laughs> yeah. alarm. So that was to move my car. I moved it. it. Fantastic. Perfect. Oh, you yeah. moved it. Yeah. Perfect. That's so another just just another key part to her life story. Is, is I moved her car today. <laughs> is, mm. yes. So, yes. you mean her gato? My gato. <laughs> is that cat? Ay ay ay. So I was yes born in Puerto Rico. Um, Puerto Ricans have this ongoing bit with the eyes and something. My house caught on fire. Yeah. We oh yeah. That. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. Your house I like how you fire. jumped from where you were born to <laughs> something that happened about seven months ago. Yes, I think that there was a lot of stuff in between that isn't relevant. This is the most relevant. Did you ever live school? in Puerto Rico? Um, when I was up until like two years old, um, my mom did a lot of back and forth while getting settled. So she would leave me with my grandma in Puerto Rico and then come up to New York, New Jersey to do a bunch of interviews and there was a moment where she was commuting. I have my aunt and some family live in Philly. She was paying $80 a day to take Amtrak to go to Newark, New Jersey for like the onboarding process and training for her job. 
Mm. And that happened, I think, for like a month straight. And I didn't find this out until last year when my mom told John her entire... Yeah, we were... It was when your apartment burned down. We were just like in the hotel and I was like hanging out with her mom and she was like, just gave me your entire life story. There were so many things that I didn't even know and I'm in the hotel lobby like, when were you going to tell me that you went by... She was 25. Yeah. And then she had me and then came up by her. How Puerto Rican is your mom? Very. Got it. Very. Like how's her English? Second. Got it. It's the second. <laughs> second. <laughs> second. Second to her. Second Spanish. to her. <laughs> yes. Well, when I go over to their place, they like argue sometimes and it's in Puerto Rican and then it switches Spanish. to Puerto English Rican? or not, in Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's in Spanish and then it switches to English and then it switches back to Spanish. Because yeah, there's only parts that I want you to hear. So yeah. And is there, it. does she ever do anything with like a chancla? A chancla? <laughs> no, I don't think, no, actually. Um, there have been threats. <laughs> But I've threats. never been hit with a sandal, no. Oh, okay. ever? I don't remember. There you huh. go. No. So you're not really Puerto Rican, are you, Allo? Um, correct. I'm totally kidding. Um, <laughs> it was a... Whoops. I imagine I just go into an entirely, like, dicest case. It was actually a belt and then a white spoon. <laughs> it was a belt? And the wall. So you're yeah. a child yeah. only the flat side of a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you're British. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> just just um, deciding someone's nationality based on what their parents hit them with. Side of the okay. sword, blade pressed but not pushed. Mm. <laughs> to the <laughs> neck, pressed. no blood drawn, just the threat. Yes. Did you, do you have a, how often do you go back to <laughs> Puerto Rico? I, I, the last time I went was last year. Okay. And it was just like a little three-day vacation thing with my best friend. And Did you go back to Fajardo? Well, yes, we did. So Hi. my <laughs> not even looking at her. Looking Sorry, at her I was saying <laughs> I was saying the name of your. You, were doing you didn't well. let me finish. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Fajardo is the nearby city where the hospital is. My family is actually from Luquillo, and where my grandma lives is like the it's called Savannah, Luquillo, and it's in the rainforest. It's right by the oh. um, Puerto Rican national rainforest El Yunque, where everyone likes to go water fall jumping. Mm. So You've probably been there. I have not been to Puerto Rico. Um, wait, what? so what? What? F- but I'd love to. That's more crazy than me never being to a different country. I don't think it's that. You not being to Puerto Rico. Well, Puerto Rico is like a state. I mean, Puerto Rico really should be a state if it were up to me. Uh, or a country, like whichever one you want. Whichever. You, well, wait. <laughs> what do you, is what do people in Puerto Rico want? They want to be a state. There's, so I am going to be completely honest. I don't have a stance because I don't live in Puerto Rico for me to know what the best options are. Cause there are mm. a lot of times where people in the States will figure out, Oh, this is better because of X, Y, Z. Cause it works here. It's like, well, but that's not how things work down in Puerto Rico. So that not, might yeah. not be the best option, but Puerto Rico in itself is a colony. It's like a modern day colonization and mm. it's, just full of rabid animals. What? So <laughs> I was actually one. What does that mean? Wait, wh- <laughs> <laughs> I was actually wondering when you're what's the immigration process like from, from like Puerto Rico? Because I know it's a territory of the U.S., yes. so it should so be way easier than, is, say, I, even the DR. There is no paperwork. Oh, OK. Because yeah, okay. you get a passport, right? Yes. If you live there? Oh, you have a you have yeah. you have a, grew up with a passport, an American passport. Yes. I didn't have oh, to okay. get a passport till I was like till I wanted to go. I think my we did a family vacation to the Bahamas. And okay. I was like ten, so I didn't. So a that's so. Okay. What's bad about the current situation? Funding or and there's no representation. That's the that's the. Oh right, no voting, so yeah. you can't vote. They but now really exactly. don't vote. But now for there's anything. Bad Bunny. And he, oh, but if you have Bad Bunny, is that <laughs> not kind of a senator? Have, that's sort yes. of a way of a form of representation. When exactly. people try and in make abortion bunny. illegal in Puerto Rico, do you guys call Bad Bunny to try and figure that out? Yes, he makes a song where he's in drag <laughs> uh, and it changes <laughs> everything. <laughs> so, yeah, so the main issue is we can't vote for laws and there's a lot of corruption that's down there. That's a pretty big issue. Yeah, so it's That's not a small issue. Well, you don't need the to main vote. one is we can't make laws. <laughs> yeah. Do they get taxed by yeah. the U.S.? Insane amounts. Yeah, yeah. This so is that's an interesting one because the U.S. was founded on the premise of no taxation without representation. If you're white, <laughs> if you're oh sorry, if you're white, sorry. The, to and be fair to the United States, we did build in a loophole. It's not <laughs> inconsistent because 
Puerto Rican Rican people wouldn't have been citizens just by the color of their skin. And therefore, they fall directly into the yes taxation without representation if you're non-white loophole. (laughs) (laughs) Which is, you know, kind of a classic loophole that we've been doing now in We do it with D.C. because it's mostly black. Uh, We do it in Puerto Rico. If you try to make any laws... South Carolina. South Carolina. There's no senators or Congress people from there. (laughs) Just because it's majority black. If you do try to make any laws in Puerto Rico, that's actually a law that you can't so that's actually illegal to try <laughs> to try to have to rules try. and regulation there's rules against that <laughs> and regulations probably the only rule is there are no rules legally <laughs> <laughs> no but like not in like a i'm at a frat party way <laughs> legally like seriously don't try to make a rule you're gonna go to prison legally puerto rico <laughs> which is a thing for criminals but there are no criminals when there's no laws unless you're trying to make laws because then you're a criminal but then you're also, but then also, cri- being a criminal is in itself legal. And then they, and then they drop it. <laughs> and then <laughs> being being Puerto Rican is much like being at a sleepover at my place. The only rules there are no rules. <laughs> <laughs> and there's late night food options available too. <laughs> and there's Puerto Ricans there. <laughs> 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 You don't know why. <laughs> well, I think, um, they're doing the dishes at my house. <laughs> and it turns out they're also doing the dishes in Puerto Rico. <laughs> it's just like my house is just like Puerto Rico. It's really nice. <laughs> Brown people are not treated that well, but they are there. They can't they can't form a coup. <laughs> and there is taxation without representation. Okay. Okay. Um so okay, wait, so did you get <laughs> Are so you now are you now a naturalized citizen of the US? Like can you vote no, in you elections? You always were, right? Yeah, I always was. You always can vote in elections yes. if you move out of Puerto Rico? Correct. Can you what be the, the president? I live cuz my permanent address is in New Jersey. Can you be the president? What? I don't know. Do you have a social security? Wait, you yes. seriously haven't looked into whether you can be the president? Why? Just because um, you're a woman? Cuz that's not right. I believe you could be the president <laughs> even think, though you're a woman. I think yeah. I could be. You know, it's actually funny. I have a vague memory of getting into an argument with um, some people in school but because of this. Because um, my elementary, my entire like schooling was all, everyone was first generation from either Central America, Dominican Republic, Cuba. And the topic of Puerto Rico came up. And then I think our teacher was kind of fucked up. It's like, none of your parents could run for president. And it was very mean about it. And I think mine can. And everyone's just like, well, no, because Puerto Rico, and I don't remember a lot of it, but. You try um, to defend your mom running for president of I the United States? I defended my mom so much in high school and middle school because her name, can I say her name? Well, her name is Milka. It's up to you. Yeah. Oh, really? That's she such a bad us. name in those ages. <laughs> when, you're, yeah. when you're those oh, ages. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now I'm trying not to have a field day with that name. <laughs> <laughs> the person you breastfed from is named Milka. Milka. Yeah. <laughs> Um, How do you spell Milka? That's unfortunate. M I L C A. Oh, phew. There is a chocolate Thank bar. Thank God. That Jesus. is called M I L K A. Yes, in in Switzerland. Yes, yeah. he was dying to say that. Been yes. there. I'd love. <laughs> he yes. was dying. In Switzerland. Wait, the mic a little closer though. But um, Milka is almost worse than if it was with a K because there's a C, which is also a bra size. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not having a field day with and uh, an your mom's a. name. Yeah. And an A, which is. Again, a bra size. See, some women have mommy milkers, but <laughs> you have mommy milkers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just something that you have to live. And with. that's unfortunate because people know that now. Yeah. And there's nothing funny about it. And people have <laughs> voices and can construct jokes. Ain't, ain't nothing hilarious about that. No, not a single thing. <laughs> Moving right along. Moving <laughs> <laughs> right along. So actually, so you are. You vote in, in elections. Yes. And that's so interesting. So it's just if Wait, you sorry, live is your mom, in Puerto Rico, you can't vote. Is your mom 100% Puerto Rican? Yes. Okay, so she's whole Milka. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. boy. Yes. She, she's whole Milka. Sometimes um, when she's snacking on nuts, I call her almond Milka. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to let him out? <laughs> I don't have any others right now. Any, uh, if anyone Jamie? else does. I mean, I got one, but I, I don't really want to say it. Okay. Come on, Jamie, say it. 
I don't want to. It's <laughs> too. It's too much. I can't say. It. If your mom watches this, I couldn't. I couldn't have been the, been the one that said that. Okay. I'm happy to say it for you if you text it. Oh no, you have. My come mom. on, Jamie. Come, in, come inside it. your mom. It's it's not milk. I mean. Aww. It's, it's not milk. Well, that's me. It's milking and milka. There you go. It's, oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. John. <laughs> your your mom's Puerto Rican, and that's that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. I think it's good. That's pretty good. Mm. All right. Can <laughs> 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 we hit the apology button over and yeah. over and over and over again? Do we no. have? No, can we, we hit can't. it once? We haven't hit it, but I, I think it's not. I want to apologize to everyone up. that I hurt by right? saying that. Mm. Was, was that it? Was it queued yeah, up? Yeah, that was it. Okay, okay thank cool. God. Cool. Yeah, I mean, there was quite obviously nothing to apologize for. We're comedians, and sometimes in comedy you have to walk tough lines <laughs> and sometimes push the boundaries. It's okay. And sometimes the line isn't even on the path. You just have to get off the path, step on a line that honestly didn't need to be stepped on mm. just to get back on the path. Oh, boy, I've got a good one. <laughs> 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 Shit. And what's that, Jamie? A white-acting black guy fucks your mom, because, and she loves it because <laughs> Oreo is Milka's favorite cookie. <laughs> Can we block my mom on Instagram? No. <laughs> okay. And I'm s and I'm sorry. No. I want to apologize <laughs> to everyone that I hurt by saying that. Yeah. The most unfortunate uh, part about uh, telling people that uh, your mom's name is Milka is that people have voices. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. By far the most unfortunate part is that middle schoolers have voices and they're not afraid to say whatever they want to say. It was in kindergarten. Oh, kindergarten. <laughs> oh, Lucas yeah, well, they is thinking of one. Yeah, everyone's, <laughs> thinking, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> thinking of one now. The gears are pretty obviously <laughs> turning. Smoke coming out of the ears. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking, like, if your, <laughs> I mean, I was just if your mom were to fall over, we'd call it sp Spill. spilling the milk. Uh. If she was perhaps in like a big cup and someone <laughs> tipped it, if she was, f if, if, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we should anyway. probably move on. Yeah, I can't so really your mom can't be the president? When your mom has a yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> we call that milk bread. <laughs> it's milk bread. It's funny because as we're like trying to think of different milk puns, I'm just looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the clock tick up. Just <laughs> silence for the podcast. Even the listeners right now are thinking of puns. And if yeah. you think of one listener, please do write in. Yes. Write in. Uh, yeah. Let us know. Say if one you in your room right now. Milk puns. <laughs> Say one in your room. Because I feel like we're leaving a lot on the table, which is sort of frustrating me as a comedian. Mm -hmm. But I of course, we I feel we got some pretty good runway out of that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much we left on the table there. Well, let's find out. Okay. Listener, write in. Okay. Um, it, listener, I feel like America, right. with their relationship in Puerto Rico, it feels like it's just not like finished if your mom okay this one actually no mm. <laughs> if your mom were to like gain a lot of weight mm -hmm. okay and i were a misogynist i might say milk is a cow <laughs> yeah like that i could see how that one but i would but never what would, say what would that. you say if you were you right? if yeah, that I were me i would say it's so shockingly amazing that someone of such an amazing color and nationality someone that comes in beige or tan tan someone that bring that someone who is the best color good the best number mm, of melanin not the best color <laughs> sort of sliding towards a better amount of melanin good per square inch of skin oh boy is also happening to be the best <laughs> number <laughs> of pounds it. objectively that's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that to someone's face. Oh, thank you very You're much. You're a really, really good guy. <laughs> you think I'm the best number of pounds as well as having a more good number of melanin? The best me ratio melanin? of melanin. I do have a, I do a, have a, do you have a career I can keep up with <laughs> <laughs> and perhaps fund it. <laughs> I'd love to come to a show sometime when you're in my city. Because oh <laughs> this is over the internet. By the way, we should plug our live podcast recording. Um, tickets are selling, believe it or not, um, for it. It is on uh, November 8th. If you're in the New York area and you listen to this podcast weekly, it would be weird not to come because you're already one of a few We're going to get people. you involved. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a fun special guest. Yep. 
celebrity uh, guests. Celebrity, celebrity guests. Dropping. And uh, we're going to do favorite segments such as poor whites mm -hmm. and apologies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we need someone angry on it. You know what I mean? We got to get someone loud. Yeah. Yeah. Angry and loud. On the count know. of three, let's say it. <laughs> no. One, I don't know. I don't two, know. three. <laughs> I thought you guys would say a name and maybe we'd match. Oh. Maybe we'd match. Um, I was thinking of two questions for Aloe. <laughs> yes, Jamie. Uh, okay. One. Mm, I don't know if this is appropriate. Nope, just another milk a pun. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's more of a comment on your mom's yeah. name. Uh. And then number two. That's also a milk pun. <laughs> you go ahead. You take the floor. Uh, no, I was wondering. Uh, you uh, is your mo your mom had you when she was twenty five. You said twenty five. Yes. Twenty five, oh, wow. and you were twenty three. I'm twenty four. Twenty four now. So I I literally actually just had this conversation with her. I said, um, if you would have told tell me a year <sighs> from now that she I would have had to pick up and move to a completely different part of the world, like country. Yeah. And by herself. With and I mean, John knows that story was insane. Wait, what about yeah. your dad? My dad, they were like on and off like high school, college. And then they. Are they together now? No. Okay. No, no, no. Do you have a dad figure that you're close with? Oh, uh, we did. Did. Um, they just separated. Okay. But when they first tried it out, they like came to Jersey. It just didn't work out. So they just went their separate ways. But my mom was the one that kind of initiated the whole, like, you know, let's pick up and go. Yeah. So she had no plan. She was working at a gas station in Puerto Rico, and she had this lady that she was, like, friends with. But she came. She's like, hey, I work for – I'm not going to say where she works because it's <laughs> okay. federal. <laughs> yeah. But I work for this – Already sort of too You can much say it. I'll just bleep it out. Okay. Yeah. So she works for – not even that excited. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know why I thought it was going to be like the CIA. Yeah. Yeah. She works for the DMV. Okay. And <laughs> she works at McDonald's. Um, so <laughs> I don't want to say it because everyone there's will know where she lives. There's a federal branch it's McDonald's. of McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> federal branch. Um, so she's like, I work for the DMV. And there's a lot of job openings. They're opening up a lot of new branches do you want a job? Like, you speak English, right? And my mom's like, yeah. So she's, meanwhile, talking to this lady, giving her information, like, spelling out her name, Milka, and checking out, like, 50 people at the same time. And months went on, didn't hear anything back until she gets a letter in the mail to fill out the application, sends it back Classic out. post office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking, there we go. Um, it's a pyramid scheme that goes all the way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to apply is to use our service. <laughs> 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 gotta pay for it. <laughs> if you if you need money, you gotta give us some. Get stamps. Such a bringer show. <laughs> 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 to be considered. You have to, to be bring. considered. You have to mail five letters <laughs> and remind people that this is the only way to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so, but anyways, the entire process took about a year. <laughs> from the interview to when she got the job. And then when she got, she had to take a test. And the test was in Newark, New Jersey. We didn't have any family in New Jersey. We had our one aunt in Philly. So my mom arrived in Newark Airport. But Newark's in, I mean, an amazing place. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, I would argue that, you know, everyone has a family when they move to Newark in, in that there's so much gang activity. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's very welcoming. <laughs> so um, it's and it's fun to be a part of, not to be group. killed by. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so she went in for an interview at the post office? Yes. And had to stay so in, she, in Philly. So she okay. got yeah. off the plane. What was the interview process like? Do you have an email? Uh, Why? <laughs> <laughs> What's Wait, so you don't good about nearby? knowing what someone's trying to say to you immediately? <laughs> you don't live even close to nearby. Why do you want? Why? Wait, well, you that live in? Did happen when they uh, when they were like um, signing her up for the test that she had to take? They're like on your address, and she goes, blah blah blah, Savannah Luquillo. She goes, no no no, like not where you're from, like your address right now. She goes, <laughs> your blah, address blah, right. Luquillo. Like we don't. There is no. Whoa. Have a jersey. She's like, how are you doing? And she's like, Wait, she moved point. and she was homeless. Well, she was staying with. She was staying with my aunt in Philly. God, I got her sister. So, yeah. Okay. So, her aunt actually, my great aunt. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So that that was pretty funny, but she just like got 
on she like made her way to Penn Station in Newark and just got on a train that was like somewhat failing. Mind you, she has no idea where she's going. She probably went to my great aunt's house maybe four times. And she's not even fifty yet now, right? No. Yeah. My mom Wow. She's f- <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I can't do math, but um, <laughs> younger than 50, Not yes. 50. Yeah. Well, you were 23 and she was I'm 25? Sh- um, yeah, I'm 24 now and she was 24, 25. 24, so 49. But yeah. that's, wow, because my parents are old as fuck. I mean, There's you no wouldn't know it old. because of all the platelet therapy, plastic surgery, and <laughs> general well-being that's allowed them to look very young, but they are very old. How, what's the, because how, how much older are you than me? I am 28 years old. Okay, so so four years. Four. 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 When do you turn 25? In September. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So four, four, yes, four, four to four, five years. Four and a half. Wait, years. so your mom was probably around Jamie, right? In Philly? Around me? Yeah. If she went to well, Philly? Where she did was, she live in Philly? I, I North, don't know. No, you were nowhere near. She was in North Philly. Okay, yeah. I, she I, may I, have I, been driving past the hospital you were born at and probably saw you and didn't even realize. She probably was Because she said that in the story. She was like, I saw a Just baby with blonde hair. Just given the location of the hospital I was born at, I'd have to guess she wasn't. <laughs> yeah. No, but she did when, a lot of driving It was around. in 1996. I don't think she was allowed near that hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's an armed lady outside of the hospital trying to get in and steal one of the white babies. She's, ar- <laughs> she's One of the good white babies. <laughs> No, 1996 in the Jim Crow North. (laughs) She's going to put them in her mailbag. What? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, what? What? Mailbag? About your mom stealing babies at a hospital? Stealing a baby with a mailbag? Stealing white babies in hospitals she wasn't allowed? Stealing good ones? I was the baby. (laughs) And when my mom was a, this is fast forwarding out of like three years old. Um, There was a period in between daycare pickup and when my mom had to go back and clock out from her route um i think it was like an hour she would put me in the mail bag and like put letters on top of me she's like okay be quiet now what? she would like go back put the card in everyone kind of knew but i just she just couldn't make it obvious that she was bringing a child in like on her arm <laughs> so she would put me in the little hand truck and i just sit there and then she clocked out and then there i jumped out and we would go home <laughs> wait so when she, with, with she's like all right aloe we're finished with delivery she looks it's just all mail <laughs> oh fuck i delivered aloe <laughs> <laughs> some I'm some guy opening aloe <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. this is early <laughs> when she knocks on someone's Puerto door child. to deliver mail does she's she ever a pedophile <laughs> when Oh, wait, did I miss a good riff? No, nah, it was just a riff that about a guy r- like actively receiving a Puerto Rican child. Him just go- him not going, this isn't what I ordered, just going, this came earlier than I <laughs> 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 That's this is wrong Oh, next day delivery, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I have, the tracking number says he's not delivered yet, but here she is. <laughs> did, when your mom opens the door to deliver mail, does she ever say something like, got Milka? <laughs> do you think sorry like michael sorry. what about sorry. michael phelps with your mom as a mustache and then he says got milka oh with your mom. could we do a series of photoshopped oh. got milka <laughs> ads <laughs> where instead of the milk stain it's your mother i think that would be phenomenal it's her photoshopped <laughs> onto She's people's upper lip <laughs> yes in does she still work? Most, right? Okay. Yes. What well, about why can't we say that on the pod? I, I feel don't like know. Federal stuff scares me. And is it just because our country's responsible for most major assassinations globally, historically, and ever? I don't know what you mean uh, by that. Wait, we really have to stay on topic, though. This is actually the first interesting person we've had on the pod. <sighs> who who doesn't just go? So I started comedy when I was four years old, and I've been <laughs> I've been doing open mics ever since. <laughs> Do you have any real life experiences? No. No. Okay, but I'm ups- I'm upset the at fire. the internet. Yeah, what happened the night of that the fire? So the night of it was December. <laughs> the night of the fire. It was December first of last year. Um, I'm actually with John. Because the only fire I've ever experienced is these kicks. <laughs> <laughs> They're five fifties. Come on. They're five fifties. Come on. 
I was looking for something exotic. I looked down for new balances. <laughs> new um, balance. My apologies. Okay. Go ahead. December 1st. <laughs> I'm with John. Um, I get a call. She's like, uh, and it's my mom. And she goes, Alondra. I'm like, yes. And when my mother's panicking, she does her best. And I know she's actually freaking out when she is the most calm and using mm-hmm. her words and speaking mm-hmm. English, like, mm-hmm. and then seeing everything. And that's when I know she's freaking out. Yeah. She goes, Alondra. Which is interesting because usually women are hysterical. Obviously. Continue. <laughs> Especially me. Um, that's John. Um, Kidding. <laughs> Jokes. So she calls and she's like, Alondra, there's been a fire <laughs> in the building. I was working. Your sister came out hysterical with the dog. And we don't know what's happening. Um, it's the building next to us. And I'll keep you updated. I'm like, what the actual fuck? So I get up. I start looking on my sister's social media because she's she's 17. She's obviously like recording something, putting on her story. And I'm looking at the local news. And the building that's connected to ours has is in just in flames and no oh one boy. knows where it started to this day they don't know where it started but that i'll get into later um so this entire time i'm in the city with john and i don't know what's happening i don't know if the fire went into our building i don't know if any of our stuff is gone but all i know is that there is a lot of smoke a lot of flames and my mom stayed at well they put them up in a hotel for the night and so she was good just for the night. So then I go. Um, the next day, John comes with me. And I get pictures beforehand. And I'm like, well, our building didn't catch on fire. So it should be fine, right? There was rubble everywhere. Oh, shit. Because mm-hmm. they didn't know where the fire started. So they just started, like, they just started, <laughs> they just started putting um, the hose just everywhere and anywhere they could. Well, they Uh-oh. also let you go in for, like, they let her go in for, yeah. like, five minutes to grab all her shit. And you, like, grabbed a bag. And you and your mom, you and your mom were saying like it really takes like e- everything like kind of burning down to like look yeah. for what you need and just be like I don't really need that any. That was of definitely this. a moment because yeah. I, I definitely I like my little knickknacks. I like my things. Um, some would say materialistic, but I like my little things. And when I went into my room and I was just my room was fine. Literally, like there wasn't. I had like some like water damage from the ceiling, but nothing insane. Like the ceiling didn't come down or anything. And I'm like looking around. I grabbed my stuffed animal, Lammy. I yep. grabbed. That's a must. Yes. <laughs> I grabbed Lammy, uh, my lap, I think my laptop. Yep. Yeah. Electronics. And then I like looked around and I grabbed like some like random underwear and like some random clothes. I'm like, I, I can't take everything. And yeah. I'm like, I don't mm. need almost any of this. I think I grabbed. And then I had like pictures of like my, this picture of like my grandparents and my mom is a picture of like me as a baby with my parents and i don't think i grabbed anything else i left my switch (laughs) my mom yelled at me for that yeah so it was like her building was like just a lot of water damage some of it was kind of burnt and then this the one connected to it completely burnt yeah they demolished it and then the craziest part was like you know like people leave like uh like their rings and shit and like uh, you oh, know jewelry yeah. and shit. Yeah. So they just like leave all their like expensive stuff that they're we're like staying at a hotel at this point. And then this dude broke into the building and robbed every, every single oh. place. Oh. Yeah, that, that oh. was which is smart. Honestly. <laughs> so if as a criminal, I mean that's 1, a smart thing. Wait, so where is this? Is this in New this York? Is, uh, no, West New York, New Jersey. West New York. Um, yeah, and then they were in a hotel for like three months. Yeah, we were in. The, they put us in a hotel. For well, a that's which awesome. One? Just it, a full <laughs> third, like the third uh, floor. Was Eloise just, at the Plaza. Uh, <laughs> the third at the plaza. It was um at the A Loft in Seacaucus, New Jersey. It was very nice. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> no, why? Hi, no, no. Me walking the into the A Loft in Seacaucus. So where's the room service menu? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I have to go to the bar and get it? To no. get foie gras? You don't even have foie gras. <laughs> Where should I put my six bags full of grilled vintage well, clothing? Well, what? <laughs> you don't have wagra? Well, what grub do you have? 
<laughs> it's foie gras, John. Not foie gras. Can I ski? It is. <laughs> Do you even have skiing? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no skiing in the A-loft in Secaucus, New Jersey? What the fuck? <laughs> And then your voice gets super normal. I went to the third floor and it's all burnt Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like chaos. Oh my god, everything smells. Everything so just bad. smelt like really? a, just like a burnt smoke. building. Yeah. Because uh, our the main issue with our so the other. Well, and then wait, how many sec, of you did you get the, one room? So every apartment got one room. Oh, so Jesus one room. Christ. Yeah. So who was in the room? It's you, your sister, and your mother in that room. It was sharing one bed or sharing you and your sister share a bed, and your mom has a separate bed. So it was um. So my half sister, they're actually like my mom and her dad are separated. So she stayed with um her dad. Okay. And then I stayed with my mom and her boyfriend. Got it. So your mom and her boyfriend are in one bed, and, and then I'm you're in, in the, the other, other bed. Talk about being sexiled for months. Oh. Yeah, Ew, that I sucks. stayed. I stayed with. It's actually really funny because right before, um, my mom like was getting really mad at me for sleeping over at John's. This was probably six months into us dating. She's very much. Um, yeah, do you have yeah. one? I feel like Jamie has a milk up. <laughs> Did I read your mind correctly? Yeah. Wait. What? What's <laughs> what's your mom's boyfriend's name? Is it and cookies? Up? <laughs> <laughs> and cookies? Up? And cookies? Up? <laughs> <laughs> Milk and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I love putting the and on it since there could be an and even if his name was Cookies. Yeah, his name's And Cookies. <laughs> and Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Milk and and Cookies. <laughs> Milk and, and, and Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So you and your mom <laughs> sort of finally know what it's like to be a headliner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Staying in the A loft hotel when you don't want to. Yes, yes. Dude, I just had to do that in Syracuse. Yeah. It's very challenging. Awful. Mm. I do mm. think the funny one of the craziest parts was okay, so the Red Cross like got them all food like yeah. for most of the nights. And the, the Red f- Cross? Yeah, yeah. That's how you know it's bad. Yeah, yeah. there was yeah. a Jesus lot of people Christ. that were well, it was and it was like surrounding buildings. Wait, how big were the buildings that so burned? So there's building. a guy that named like Eben like who looked like Ebenezer Scrooge with one of those top hats ringing a bell <laughs> outside the <laughs> to collect <laughs> money for you guys. Um <laughs> it was both buildings held about four. It was fourteen apartments. Yes. And 16, who's pa- who's paying for this? Is it the so it owner was, of the apartment building? So it was a combination of Red Cross landlord and it was election time in my town. So that was probably the only reason we were put up in the hotel for mm. as long as we did. Because the, someone it had was to the, run on it. Yeah, the town of West, uh, the town of West New York was just like, oh, the, look what we're doing for these people. These six, it was what's. Look what we're doing two? for these people whose apartment two, we burned down. Sixteen. Oh, 16, 32. Conspiracy so yeah, thirty-two drama. apartments, thirty-two families. <laughs> oh yes, love, the conspiracy. Love a good conspiracy. Well, I heard that. Yeah, I heard the governor loves burning down buildings and pyrotechnics. <laughs> so why do you believe it was arson? So I believe it was arson because. To this day, they do not know what started the fire. And there's only a handful of things that could start a fire, um, like starting a fire. And there was a bodega connected to the building next to ours, and they believe it started in the bodega basement. Mm. This is all alleged, and this is just me coming up with my own theories, but I have a theory that there was some sort of insurance thing that was trying to happen in the basement and there was a gas leak in the building so i feel like that's when it get like went out of control mm. i don't think if it was arson i don't think it was supposed to go to the the, the scale of what it was wait mm-hmm. so but you guys also can't have you been move compensating did you guys own the place or were you renting no it was rented we we are in so that's great though cuz then you don't have to deal with correct you didn't have to really deal with anything right i mean they put you up and then that was sort of it Yes, but in a way, it's a good thing that your entire apartment burnt down. <laughs> yes, so the main because you learn more it's about yourself. Put on a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> so the main issue was maybe be grateful you understand what it's like to be a headliner now. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone gets to stay at the Secaucus A loft unless they're headlining bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so the main issue was we were in. So this was the apart. This is the second apartment my mom ever lived in when she oh. moved. To oh no! Jersey. So she'd been there for a long we were there for time since 
2003. Oh, my shit. gosh. So, Two years after 9-11. Yes. <laughs> and our rent was insanely cheap. Like, rent control was... Ah. So we couldn't afford to live in... We were looking at... A place at, that nice. Exactly. And Got everyone it. else in our building was able to... Was call. it a two-bed that you were in? No, it was a one-bed. One bed that you were in. Yeah, so we just made like the kitchen, that's like common area. Okay. But that's how we were for like twenty. Wait, but where did you sleep? Did you share a room with your mom? No, we both had separate rooms, but we just hers kind of had like a wall and then like a curtain they put over it. So it was basically so like, like another a, room. like a flex two bed sort of situation, right? There was a curtain that kind of sealed it off, no. or a door. There was doors. Oh well, then that's. Did a your two mom bed. have a curtain on her one? So it was. You if walk- there were two bedrooms, yeah. John making it sound more poor than yeah, it was. Yeah, like, so you slept in the same bed. Like so you had a, but you had a two bedroom. There were two bedrooms. There were two bedrooms. Yes, we Got just it. didn't have a living room. And there was no plumbing. Oh, you see. pooped in a hole. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's nice. Oh, but, there was no living room. Yes, correct. Got it. So, so it was, it kitchen was the living. Yes, 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 yes. So for the longest time, uh, my mom was just kind of like, "We're eventually going to move back to Puerto Rico," and oh. we just never did. Mm. So. In a way, it was... Like Where do you live now? Down the street. From here? From my old building. Yeah, oh. literally like Somehow a block away. We, yeah, do you live with your mother still? Yes. Do you pay rent? No. Thank God. Interesting. So that... Um, so our rent probably went up... At four least... Four times? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because, yeah. mm. I mean, we were, again, rent control from 2003, but even so... It was insane. So I offered to pay rent, and my mom was like, I could work something out with my boyfriend. So that's what ended up happening. So love him for that. So he's... But he's paying, like, a big chunk of it, yeah. Okay. Queen. He's a trucker. Yeah. He's a trucker? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's... And cool. is that, uh, he's actually yeah, yeah, he is. Is yeah, he... He's with that cheering. White? No. Puerto Rican. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my half sister's God right. forbid he's Wait, white. Why'd you and thank a God? Because a white trucker? I mean, I don't oh, think I racist. support a white trucker. Yeah, yeah he'd no, be I racist. Never do that. Um, <laughs> it's called a poor white. I don't know if you've uh, ever been on the Can I Go Home Now podcast, but we don't take kindly to those over here. By the way, Oliver Oliver Anthony, how about this? Fuck off. Wait, who who that? He's the guy who released that one that was like that song John used to sing. What song? Uh, Richmond, north of Richmond. Ri- yeah, <laughs> Richmond, north of Richmond. Uh, but truckers like him because oh, he's see. Republican. Mm. But Got I just it. wanted to say this: fuck off, man. <laughs> the rich men north of Richmond are doing a great job. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and and don't question Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Joe back, is doing back Biden. Joe is. Can I just say How something about Biden's Joe? mental clarity right now? Yes. It's clear as day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm talking. Uh, from the top of a skyscraper on a cloudless day, you can see eight miles uh, if you're him. Amen. He is getting it. He's saying the words <laughs> in the right order. He's passing things, potentially. He's remembering what he's passing. He's the guy. His mind his mind <laughs> is a clear sky, and by that, I mean he's thinking about running through tulips. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Joe is, when I tell you I back him blindly, and enthusiastically for four more years. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Me Let's too. get this motherfucker yeah. back in the in the Oval Office. Please, four more years. He's gonna be 86 at the end of his second term, and I don't. I couldn't think of a better age. I want that <laughs> man. If he could hit 90 in office, I would choose that. Uh, if yeah. we could somehow come up with a constitutional amendment to allow Joe to reign supreme until he dies. I would love to do so. And if we could somehow and get rid of the freeze filibuster. him or yeah. allow him to nap <laughs> nap for eight to can nine you, hours a day so that he doesn't inevitably die in the next six months, that would be great too. Do you can you run as a dead person? Because I think you should be able to run as a dead person. We because be, then we can vote for Joe again. Why when he couldn't dies? we weekend at Bernie's with Joe? Ooh. And then we could even have Bernie. Arguably Sanders we are already controlling him. So it would be weekend at Bernie's by Bernie. I, s- I will say, uh, arguably, we're already weakened at Bernie. So. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. Is, do you the, guys the think, and this made. is a serious question, that Joe Biden is currently alive? Or is he being puppeteered and reanimated and where, by and, our government? I haven't heard mask. from him in a long time. Have you seen those realistic masks <laughs> that they're saying they put on famous people that they killed? They say they, they put John. Hollywood prosthetics <laughs> on. And I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm just saying. John. 
I don't believe it. I don't believe it, and you brought it up. John, the fact that you... Yeah, because what if? You know those things? The fact that you've even heard about that That is too deep a rabbit hole. (laughs) This is my problem with you, is I don't care what you believe. I can't believe that that. information is making its way to your ears. That I reiterated it after seeing it once? Yes. Have you heard of the fact that clones replace us, and they (laughs) act exactly the same way that we do, so you can never, ever, 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 ever tell? Yeah. Have you heard of that? Because I don't believe it, and I've never heard of it. (laughs) Do you guys know that Joe Biden's in Israel right now, which I don't recommend because if he so much as hears a loud noise, he will die. Yeah. He'll go. Oh. Oh. And then no, he has a delayed reaction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, a but he's, he's easily my favorite president of all time. Him falling asleep as they bomb the shit out of the embassy he's in. <laughs> A, a nuke goes off. It just like fries his skin. He's just bones. His skeleton. <laughs> Ouchie. <laughs> I feel like sometimes you see in cartoons, John. I love I love yes. cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say this about Joe. He's trying. You can't tell me he's not putting in his best effort. If you've ever seen him struggle through a speech, yeah. which he does every time, yeah. he really, he's like, uh, we got to. He we got we got to improve. We got to make it better. We got to make it faces better. And, it and then he always goes <laughs> he always gives that smile at the end, like I nailed it. It yeah. is, it is so funny that like we, like we made the Constitution and like the presidency like four years, but all of us are like, he's barely alive, but we wrote it down. But so honestly, I, I gotta <laughs> say, it's every morning. You know, he wakes up confused because I wake up confused, and I'm, you know, what young, huh? It's just confusing to wake up. You wake up confused. Yeah, yeah. Like I, out of I, I do get that. Just waking up, being like, "Where am Every I? Time? Oh, when did I go to bed last night? What am yeah, I doing today?" Exactly. Yes. Every time. What, what day the is fuck it? is wrong Me with you guys? Every time. morning I wake, well, you up, wake up. at like Where seven. am I? What day is it? What did I do yesterday? What's on tap today? And then I need about five minutes to understand the answers to all those questions. Every morning. You are, are you kidding? You guys really me? don't understand that. I'm What's not, wrong with you guys? That, but every morning. Yes. You have to have like a reset of why you're alive. Why I'm alive? No, no what I'm doing that? No, yeah, like what's happening? Like what's happening? No, no. Yeah. Where okay, am so I? So think about this. Imagine, first of all, where am wait, I? So is what, the you, first question. what you're saying is yeah, you're okay. So if you have to like do something the next morning, you're like. <laughs> 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 Wake up and immediately get to work. No pause whatsoever. <laughs> Eyes on like some kind of robot that was just turned off for the night. You've Time never to woken finish up. That spreadsheet. You've never woken up and just gone. Oh. Well, you guys have an alarm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. I will say I, I've i been traveling so much lately that when I wake up, I don't know where I am. Okay. So yeah. that's but there's also no tasks to do unless it's like online emailing people when you're on the road. Yeah. Like yeah I you had just. That in like the summer when I was like a kid when I don't yes. have anything to do. Yes. Yes. But I, if I go to sleep on the 7th and I know I have to do something on the 8th, I'm going to go to sleep knowing mm-hmm. tomorrow's the 8th. I have that thing to do. Yeah. I'm going to wake up. Okay, today's the 8th. I have that thing to Got it. Agreed. So that's where you and I differ. I wake up and I go, ah, <laughs> what day is it? What do I have to And do? you look in the mirror and go, ah. <laughs> t- today, and you go, oh, it's Lucas. Oh, I'm a comedian. T- today, literally, <laughs> I had a, every single thing I had to do today was a surprise. <laughs> and that's because I'm just a very disorganized person. But I woke up. I, I set a 9.45 a.m. alarm. I had to call into a Kansas City radio show. By the way, I made a poor white joke on there, mm-hmm. and they did not laugh. <laughs> they were <laughs> like, they, they, I asked what Leewood is, which is where I'm performing because it's a suburb. And yeah. they're like, oh, it's, it's actually the rich suburb in, in Kansas. And I was like, oh, God, so people can read there? <laughs> yeah. And then there's just a long silence. Yeah, what'd they say? And they were like, well, they get people to read for them. And then, so but they, they didn't like really. That's pretty. That's pretty but it funny. It was actually kind of funny. But it good comeback. Well, it is funny because when I first did your guys' pod, <laughs> still can't read. I did your guys' pod <laughs> on like the eighth episode. Like yeah. No, we hire a Yankee to read for us. Because <laughs> they came, we came. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I did your guys' pod for the first time, and you guys did the poor white joke on me, I couldn't tell it was a bit. I was like, I know. I was People like, oh. Get it. I was like, oh, I think they're actually like mad at people that are poor and white i know that's the and yeah. then i was like oh wait it's funny because i mean we're certainly well, not happy with people that are poor and white. <laughs> <laughs> it's bits it's, aside i never certainly heard. prefer yes. that if you're poor at least you're black whoops <laughs> or up sorry so is that yeah, too much to color, ask yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, God. Is that too much to goddamn <laughs> ask? Anyway, so I did that. Mm-hmm. Then I was on the phone with Jamie for a little while. And after that, Hi. my mom called me and she was like, oh, you have this uh, lunch uh, that I didn't know I had. So I went to that lunch. Okay. I had to call to push the podcast that I thought was at three, but it was at two to three. And then nope, to 2.30. To 2.30 and then to three. <laughs> and then. And then I showed up 30 minutes late to that. Thank you. And then I, as I was on the way here. <laughs> you I got last a- week. Why do you want to stop doing the pod, you, this week? I'm an hour and a half late. Hope that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I don't have time for Jamie's bullshit right now. And then um, I got a text from Stand Up New York on the way here that I'm on a 5 p.m. show in Midtown, which is guaranteed to be a banger. 5 p.m.? Yeah, Nomad Works. I'm closing it out, thank God. So at least I'll go on it six or whatever wait today <laughs> today yeah like a couple, like oh okay hour? then we got to do our patreon episode yeah. and then <laughs> and then uh i um and then after that i was gonna ask a favor of you after our show to do a self-tape with me jamie because i forgot i had to do that after our show at sash if that's possible okay. but that was one of those days where i woke up and every I, I don't single i don't think so but i, I appreciate me you and asking. jamie can just do it without I'll do, you. you just send me the sides and i'll, I'll tape it and send it in <laughs> Whatever role you're submitting you for, I could submit for. That's for sure. Uh no. Why not? Are you no. interviewing Why? for a job? <laughs> she, <laughs> she is a personal assistant. She, she, said, personal assistant. she said no when you said are you. <laughs> you went are, are you? you? No. <laughs> I, I am one not. and your issues. To whom? To a very influential lady. I'm a lot more abusive than that. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Emotionally, of course, Emotionally. never physically. Interesting. I will say I, this: I don't know. The Perhaps fact you wake up disoriented every morning is one of the more terrifying things I've ever heard. Well, you've yeah. seen me. I don't often know where I am. Well, I think yeah, if, when you're awake. I think if you like yeah. when you're fully conscious, not having slept. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Because I, I, my sense of direction is so poor that I'm confused as to where I am most of the time. New York is, because of the grid of the city, is the only place where I know where I am. Yes. yes. And that it's makes nice, sense. and I like it. I yes. like knowing where I am because yeah. I can walk into a bathroom and I'll come out, go the opposite way, keep going, and then five minutes into a walk that was 30 seconds on the way there, I go, I feel like I went the wrong way. Yes. Even though <laughs> I've already done... <laughs> 10 times the amount of walking that I did to get where I was in the first place. <laughs> so definitionally, I must have gone the wrong way the second that it was 31 and seconds. A, and, assist, and an, an assistant would, would say, you, hey. you're walking the wrong way. Yeah, well, I would make an assistant come with me to the bathroom and, and look. Oh. <laughs> Take a look. Go isn't that isn't that abuse? I don't think so. <laughs> this is how you get good at stand up. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be a comedian, you wait. come to the bathroom and you look. Wait, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Farting. This is how you get good. <laughs> Sniff deeply, deeper. Yeah, you can't get an assistant now. You no. Because if you get one now, that'll just solidify you being out of touch. But you don't want to be out of touch because you do stand up, so you got to be in touch with. With other, I don't think that'll be the thing that makes you out of touch. <laughs> I was gonna say we might have crossed that boundary <laughs> quite a while ago. Maybe once you can afford it through stand up. Maybe it's the fact that my personal apartment is larger than Aloe's <laughs> childhood home that <laughs> makes me think I'm out of touch. Hey, it's bigger now. <laughs> it's bigger now. Oh, See, that's there's good. nothing yeah. there. Oh, it's nice. just an entire lot. Oh, boom. Yeah. Oh, great. I have a question. Yes. Uh, if you had. The money Lucas had, what would you do? Mm. Like, what would you do with your life? Mm. Right, like, um, if I always had it or if I got it right now? If you, if uh, you if could you do are, anything right without now. resources being an issue, what would you do? No, uh, well, I'm asking a different question. Mm-hmm. You can answer Lucas's question. Nodding as if I knew. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I was interrupting to frame a different question. So, if right and now... And hope she'd answer that one. I immediately would buy Milka House, number one. No, no, no. In this situation, Milka has a house. She's rich. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, I've always had this money? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Milka bought you a house in this situation. I was like, I'd probably get, like, a... You're, uh, you already have that in this scenario, too. So, what would you do Wait with the money? Wait a second. Also, you have everything. Wait a second. When Milka says her name in Spanish, she's, Milka. she says, Soy Milka. <laughs> Uh, 
That was pretty good. I'm going to end it. <laughs> <laughs>